What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and good morning to everyone. Um, actually, I should say good, good afternoon to everyone now. Uh, but here, I just wanted to do a really quick video. Uh, a lot of you guys were concerned that uh, I should have just uh, called up, you know, whoever Flex Innovations um, to have them, you know, change out the Aurora and stuff like that. I didn't modify anything, you guys. All I did was unplug the sequencer and get and, and and the sequencer is up there on the counter. I still have the sequencer. The sequencer's not working. That's the problem. That's one of the biggest problems is the sequencer isn't working at all. The second thing is, is all I did was just unplug the Aurora. The Aurora is still here. I just have it unplugged and everything's bypassed into my receiver. That's all. That's it. So uh I know a lot of you guys, you guys are, uh, Shelby, you especially were concerned that, you know, you know, the, the warranty would be, uh, void or whatever you might say. I'm not worried about it. You guys really, I mean, all I'm really worried about is whether or not she flies. Um, I trust my gyro system that I use in all my planes. I trust it. Um, I've always used this gyro. In everything that I've ever flown, unless I don't use a gyro at all. And even then, I still keep it plugged in. I just turn it all the way down. Um, but anyways, that's it, guys. I mean, basically, I just bypassed the Aurora and went straight into the receiver. Um, I still have everything that goes to the plane. I still have it marked on the, uh, on the sequencer where everything got plugged in. So, um, I did it with a... Um, with a Sharpie. So I know that the gear go on that side and the other wires go in the other side. I know that. Um, but guys, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just a foam plane. Yeah. I know I paid a, a good amount of money for this foam plane, but all I'm worried about is whether or not we can get this bad boy up and get it down. That's it. That's all I care about at this point. Um, Am I a little upset that the Aurora is not working and things didn't go the way I, I'd liked it to go? Yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, this is a plane that has an Aurora in it, which allows it to fly with stabilization. Kind of like Horizon and their AS3X. Well, this is this is this is Flexjet or Flex Innovations AS3X. That's basically what it is. Basically, all I did was take their AS3X away, their Aurora away, and put my own gyro in. So, it's still going to be flying on stabilization. It's still going to be rock solid in the air. I can tell you that right now. I just know, I know how well my stabilizer in, in, that I use, I know how well it works. And it works awesome. It works really good. So, this thing will fly stable. It'll fly stable, very stable. Um... Maybe even better than what the Aurora does. I've never found a gyro on the market that flies a plane more stable than this, um, than the, um, uh, the BS2X. Um, that's just my opinion though. Um, just a rock solid plane, a uh, rock solid, uh, gyro, um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Just a really quick video. I got to take Kyle up to the doctors. Uh, and then I'm going to have this in the back of the car. And we're going to go fly this thing like right after. So uh, I'm super excited to get out and fly this thing. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be freaking awesome. I got two batteries up here on the counter. Ugh. I got two batteries ready to go. I'm going to fly it on a 5,000. And I'm going to fly it on this big, giant 5,400 uh, that I have here. Um, I'll probably try the 5,000 first just to see, uh, how it handles, you know, the 5,000 for weight. And if it handles it great and it handles it like with no issues at all, then I'll throw that big 5,400 in there and we'll try it on that. Um, I'm actually super excited. Um, I got everything working on the plane. Everything that's on the plane is working, whether it's mechanical or whether I have it hooked up to a switch, everything's working. So the gear doors do work. They're just on a switch. So I got to put pull the switch to get the gear doors to come down and then hit a switch for the um the gear to come down. Then when I need to land, I put the uh, put or uh, when I take off, I put the gear up and then hit the switch for the gear doors to come up. 
and then when it's time to land, I hit the gear door switch and then hit the landing gear and then come down and land. So it's not that bad of a, it's not that bad of a gig, you guys. Uh, it actually, it's actually pretty cool. I was messing with it last night that you have to actually have to flip a switch to get the gear doors to come down. It's like one little extra thing that you get to do during a flight that you never actually get to do during when you have a sequencer. So I think it's pretty cool. Flip the switch for the gear doors. Boom. And then flip the gear. Boom. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, just messing with it last night. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, but that's it guys. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. And this is just a quick video for you guys out there. Uh, don't worry. It's, it, it's fine. We'll be okay, guys. Uh, I've had worse things happen with, with airplanes before that I've had to fix. This was a very simple fix. Um, it didn't take me that long at all to do. Uh, it was just more of like trying to find all the Y harnesses and, and W harnesses that I had laying around. Uh, that was the biggest issue. Uh, but like I said, nothing's permanent here. Everything can get put back the way it was. So just so you guys know that before, before you guys are uh, worried about warranties and stuff like that, um, I don't even think there's a warranty left on this thing, you guys. Um, this was a return. Somebody returned this plane um, to the hobby center up where I up where I go, and I ended up buying it on sale. So I mean, I have a flex jet. That's all that matters. I bought the flex jet because of the way it flew because of the way it flies. I didn't buy the flex jet because of the Aurora, because of door sequencers. I didn't that's not why I bought it. I bought this plane because I thought that this thing flew amazing watching pilot Ryan and Captain Mike fly it. I thought this thing was absolutely amazing the way it flew. Uh and then the build structure of it, all the carbon fiber that they have run through it and everything, everything all of that is why I bought the plane. It wasn't because of an Aurora and a uh, gyro stabilization system. Um, but yeah, guys, after we're, after me and Kyle are done, we're going to take this right to the field and we're going to rock and roll, dude. It's time to go. It's time to go. It is time to fly this flex jet. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get it out and fly it. Uh, depending on how it flies, you guys, I might even throw a new paint job on it. Uh, I don't mind the paint job that's on it right now, but I think this thing would look sick with like... I don't know, some type of an F-16 paint scheme on it or something like that. I think it would look pretty cool. Um, something, something other than this red and white. Um, we'll figure it out. I'm Dave, Dave's RC. Peace.